going to tell us where we can find Billy the Kid? Not today. You ain't denying you and him and that other held up the bank at Rio and killed the cashier. I sure am. We ain't been within 50 miles of Rio in over a week. You want to save your hide, you better tell us where we can find him. I don't know, and I wouldn't tell you if I did. There they are. All right, man, he won't talk. Let's get this over with. Now remember, Jeff, all we want to do is to get fuzzy. Shoot hard. You sure saved me a rope and a tree from becoming one. <laughs> you didn't think we'd run out on you, did you, Fuzzy? Oh, I knew you'd get here, but next time, don't take so long. It gets uncomfortable. Well, we had to wait for a chance to get you out of jail. That's right. We were just getting ready to come in after you when we saw them dragging you out. We thought it was right nice of them to do it for us until we saw those ropes. Then we knew you were in for a little throat trouble. <laughs> a little? <laughs> <laughs> we got to get out of this part of the country. Where are we head for? Paradise, huh? That sounds like the kind of a place we're looking for. Names don't mean a thing. I punched cows once in a place called Happy Valley. And I never had so much trouble in all my life. Mm, I think Billy's right, Jeff. We gotta find a place where they don't know Billy the Kid, and Paradise might be it. Well, I hope so. Well, how about it? Suits me. It don't me, but I guess I'll have to trail along with you two to keep you out of trouble. A town with a name like that couldn't hold any trouble. Third bad, fellas. We'll take him back to that ranch house we just passed. Put him on a horse while I have a look at this other umbry. I think he'll be all right. They're getting a doctor for him. Good. Hey, what are you doing with that badge? Well, I just kind of barred it from the marshal. To... Well, it might come in handy sometime. Uh, hey, Billy, what do you make of all this? Well, I don't know. But one thing, sure, somebody in Paradise knew this marshal was coming. They sent somebody out to get him. What do you reckon he meant about that secret committee and uh, trouble and all those things? That's not our worry. We're getting out of here. Well, the least we can do is to take this letter to his brother. And head straight into trouble? We better get moving before the law catches up with us. Now, wait a minute, Jeff. That marshal said somebody was causing trouble among the border people. If that's so, I'm going to do what I can to help them. After all, they're the best friends we've got. You sure are. All right, but don't say I didn't warn you. You can always say I told you so. And don't think I won't.
There it is, boys. Paradise. Peaceful and quiet, ain't it? Yeah. So's a stick of dynamite if you leave it alone. Buddy, seeing you borrowed the marshal's badge, here's your chance to use it. Who, me? From now on, you're going to be the marshal they're expecting. Oh, listen, Billy, I just borrowed uh, everything. I was just a kid. Fuzzy, you haven't got a thing to worry about. We'll be right behind you. Yeah, but how far? Oh, all right. You shouldn't have done that, Billy. He's sure to get himself in trouble. Maybe you're right. We better stick close to him. He must have missed. There's the marshal. And what a peculiar looking duck he is. Hey, we better stop Badger and Burke at the newspaper office. It's too late now. Hanson. He's here. We'd better get to him before anybody else does. Marshal's office. Right over there, but it's empty. Well, it won't be for long. <clears throat> That's what you think. Don't talk, Marshal. Come with us. We understand. Take I, it I, easy. I, I know, but, we but, 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 but covered right I, now. I, 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 I don't so right. We'll explain. I, uh, you all about it. No, but I, 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 right. They're taking him in that building. Yeah, it's the jail. I reckon it's our move. Have you got the letter, Marshal? I am saying. You can talk. We're members of the secret committee. I'm Burroughs, and uh, this is Hanson. Pleased to meet you. We don't blame you for being careful. This is a dangerous job. Mm, that's all right. Yes, Marshals don't live long in this I town. Don't... What have you got to say? I ain't a-talking until my deputies get here. Deputies? Ah, oh, two of the toughest ever. Of course, they'll uh, work undercover. Fact is, uh, I'm in disguise myself. Yeah, I thought so. I think I better go out and meet them. Now, just a minute, Marshal. We got something more to tell you. You can't do this, please. Now, let me get back right, to right, work. Right, 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 Nobody in this town is safe from those men and their gang. Half the businessmen have sold out cheap and left town already. The rest of us are ready to follow. Ain't there no law, no sheriff, or nothing? No, it's not an organized county. That's the reason we sent for you. Wait, uh, oh, no, stop it, you fellas. Look out, let me get that on, work. I wonder if that's the editor the marshal told us to find. Probably is, being that he's in trouble. Uh, I'll look into this monkey business pronto. <clears throat> okay. You've been printing things in your paper about people that ain't sold. We warned you to stop it, but you didn't. Now you're gonna take what's coming to you. I only did what any other respectable citizen would. Expose the crooked work that's been going on around here. You know, exposing and proving are two different things. If you've got any proof of the things you claim, let's have it. We'll all look it over. Well, I'm getting it. That's what you say. I still claim that you've been printing things that you can't prove. You know, that's interfering with personal liberty. 
We can't take that. We even heard you sent for a marshal. You know, that was right careless of you. We're cleaning up this town, and no one's going to stop us. What do we do with him, boss? Feed him a rope. Ride him out oh, on a rail. I bet. Are you Lopez? Maybe yes. Maybe no. That's what I thought. Who's the loudmouth Umbry making all the noise? He's a big man. He says so himself. Now, you see, these boys have got ideas. What's yours? I'll go. But I got any money. No place. You had a chance to sell the paper, but you wouldn't. I will. I will now. I'll take anything for it. That's fine. I'll put it up for auction for you, just to make it look good. Now, come on, boys. Bid it up. Here's a going business. In fact, uh, it's almost gone. <laughs> Fifty cents. I'm making a dollar. Dollar and a half. <laughs> Five dollars. Yeah. See, it was so I bought me this business. We have many auctions, but it is not always safe to bid. Maybe that all depends on who does the bidding. Ten dollars. Fifteen dollars. One hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars. Five hundred. <laughs> that was one of my deputies. Uh -huh. Let him have it. We can always take care of him later. You've sold a paper, mister. You got a pen? Sure, and I have the legal papers. I understand such things. Good. You'll find the money in here. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Buying a paper. Oh, no, you're not. You're wrong. I made the highest bid. There were no other offers, so the paper's mine. You know, you've got a lot to learn about sticking your nose in other people's business. Are you aiming to teach me? Yeah. Hold it! Back up there. It's easier when you got the drop in it. Comes in handy sometimes. But in this case, I don't need it. I bought this paper, and I will see whether I keep it or not. Do you want to take off that belt? Sit back up. Yeah. You ready, Lopez? Si, senor. I don't know the date. You put it down. Oh, okay, wait a minute. Now get this. Or in consideration. Of the sum of five hundred dollars. Marshal, never interfere with a man when he's dictating. Come on, the seat up, which is hereby acknowledged. Period. I, whatever his name is, the automation. Thanks. Who hereby sell, sign, and transfer? Oh. Did you get that? Si, senor. What did I leave off? A sign and transfer. Sign and transfer, all right. Sign and transfer. Will you, mate? I'll fill that in with a sign. Senor Mason? Sign here. Get him out of here. Yeah. Now, you sign, senor. Here's your money. You will count it? There's no need to, uh, Lopez. Gracias, senor. Well, we took care of that situation all right, didn't we? Yep, we sure did. I wanted to buy the paper myself, but I'm glad to see it's in such good hands. Oh, uh, this is senor Hardy, our banker and big businessman. We owe everything we have to him. Is that right? Well, I'm glad to know you, Mr. Hardy. I'm glad to welcome you to paradise. That man Badger has been needing a beating for some time. It's been difficult to keep the community peaceful. Glad to see you too, Marshal. 
Heard you were coming. Fact is, it was my suggestion you were sent for. Well, I... Uh, thanks, Mr. Hardy. I think I can take care of the job all right. In fact, I think this marshal job is going to be a cinch. They're shooting at me! Hey, do something! Hurry up! Hurry up! Go get them! I'll be right behind you! Did you see where that shot came from? Mm, no. No, we don't pay any attention to such things anymore. Nice, quiet place, this paradise. Yeah. Hey, why aren't you fellows going after my murder? You're not dead yet. You're the marshal. That's your job. Uh, he's the new marshal? <laughs> How quaint. I am not. Well, come on, come on. Let's get going. They'll get away. Yeah, that's all right. Let them get away. Don't worry. They'll be back. Uh, uh, uh. I'm sorry. Oh, Ann. This is Ann, my ward. We were just getting acquainted. This gentleman, How do you know, miss? He's just bought the newspaper. Oh, he has? Well, I'm sure you'll make a success of it. The other editor, Mr. Mason, used to let me help him get out the paper. Uh, we could Mason, use a little help, help, too. too. I, <laughs> I just heard you talking about Mason, the editor. Well? I just came from his office. He's been shot. What? You can't help him now. He's dead. I was going to give him back his newspaper. He sure seemed to think a lot of it. Well, looks like it's laid right in our laps, fellas. We'll have to make the best of it. I used to be in the printing business. You ought to see the bills. I, you couldn't tell them from the... Appears to me like you got stuck. Yeah. Why did you buy it? Oh, just a hunch. Do you often gamble? I'll say he does. And he always wins. What did this fellow Mason do to cause all this trouble? He tried to clean up the town, but he didn't have enough in back of him when his bluff was called. Oh. In other words, he wasn't a big enough man to finish what he started. Old Colonel Colt makes them all the same size. If you know how to use him. Well, as long as we're in business, we might as well try and clean this place up. Do you want me to help? <laughs> From the looks of things, I need all the help I can get. All right. Here are the keys. I guess you can figure out which ones are which. Uh, this town seems to be rather empty. Where does everybody keep themselves? There aren't many left. Times are hard. And lawlessness has not only driven people out of town, but kept others from coming in. Unfortunately, that's true. Oh, maybe we'd better see about the arrangements for Mr. Mason. Yes. See you later. stuff, man. I'll look through it later. I'm glad you know how to operate one of these things, Jeff. I'd never get out of paper. Been a long time, but I guess I can handle them. And I'll help him. I used to write the editorials for Mr. Mason. Well, that's swell. And I'll take care of the collections. What collections? Hey, where are these three new guys come in at? They don't. I was expecting only a marshal, and Blackie was to take care of him. It looked like the marshal took care of Blackie. But if you'll give the word, we'll finish the three of them by sundown. No, you mustn't. We must go slowly, carefully, to avoid detection. You're not going soft on us, are you? Certainly not. I'm just using my head instead of a gun, which is all you think of. We got word from across the line this morning they want this job rushed. So do I. I'm more at stake than anybody. It's been my idea from the start. And we've succeeded so far because we've used brains instead of brute force. You know, it was brute force that drove out all the people you don't want around here. And it's going to drive out the rest. Yes, but it took brains to think up the idea of running a tunnel from here under the border through which we can work without interference. That tunnel ain't finished yet. It will be, as soon as I've got absolute control of the town. Keep the men working. And leave the new marshal alone until I order otherwise. All right.
You're sure a lot of help, miss. I don't see how I could have been so clumsy. Look at that. You certainly made a good job of it. I'm sorry. It was probably something for the next edition. Well, that's all right. Maybe I didn't want to print the stuff anyway. It's going to be nice working for you. Well, I better find Mr. Hardy. He'll be wondering where I am. Well, don't forget to come back. I won't. Seems like a right nice girl, huh? Yeah. I wonder what her game is, Jeff. How do you mean? I don't know whether you noticed or not, but she was looking for something. She's got more in her mind than just helping us. Oh, I'm glad I haven't got your suspicious nature. You wait and see if I'm not right. Say, what are we going to do about what the marshal told us? Now the editor is dead. Just lay low and see what happens. And use Fuzzy for bait, huh? Well, he ought to catch plenty in that trap of his. <laughs> Newspaper office? No. Perhaps Mr. Mason burned it before you. I doubt if he had a chance. Perhaps it hasn't come yet. Must these killings go on? Isn't there some other way? Not while people try to stop me. They've made it difficult to send my stuff over the line. When this tunnel is finished and all of paradise is under my control, I'll be the wealthiest man in the Southwest. And nobody better cross me. Do you reckon Hardy's figuring on letting us hold a sack while he pulls out? I wouldn't put it past him. He's got an awful lot of money stacked in that bank of his. Yeah, some of yours and mine too. I've been telling you right along not to trust him. He's too smooth. Say, you don't suppose he sent for that marshal, do you? I wouldn't put it past him. Well, from now on, we're going to do things my way. All right, hurry it up down there. Come on. Hello. Are you the new marshal here? Uh, yep. Uh, good. I want you to help me find Billy the Kid. Billy the Kid? Where is he? I don't know. That's why I want you to help me find him. Now, this isn't my regular county here. I'm just around getting a different town to post some reward notices. You've got a printing shop here. Yeah. Uh, you got a picture of him? Well, uh, no, but, uh, well, I got a pretty good description. description of him. I've seen him. Oh. Well, all right, fix it up to suit yourself. We can get those notices out and post it. I sure will. <clears throat> oh, I got a call on some of the ranchers, but uh, I'll be around in case you need any help. Uh, I won't need any help. This job's going to be easy. Yeah? Well, you're the only one that thinks so. Look at this, Jeff. Looks like a proof. A what? A proof. Somebody set this up in type and then ran off a trial copy. Go ahead, read it. What's in those wagons that leave the livery barn in the middle of the night? Who's behind the efforts to discourage business and drive people from paradise? The press means to find out. Say, that sounds... I wonder if this is what was set up in type. The stuff the girl spilled. No way to find out now. It wasn't in the last issue of the paper. Say, I'll bet that editor was on the track of something. The gang knew it and wiped him out. Hey, fellas. I was just talking to the sheriff and promised him to help find Billy the Kid. You <laughs> what? Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'll explain everything. This sheriff was only visiting. There ain't no sheriff here. What are you talking about? I got a job for you, printing up reward notices for Billy the Kid. Look. Hey, this is a I, I know, I know. I'm not so dumb. <laughs> and I'm getting fed up with this marshal business. I'm going to quit, resign. I don't... Oh, no, you're not. You asked for it when you pinned on that badge. It's too late to resign now. Oh, well, all right. Uh, 
Get busy. Print up some more notices. Go on. Hurry up. Red, I want you to go to town and bring the marshal out here. Oh, you mean drag him out? I'll use your head. Tell him we're in trouble. Tell him we need him. Anything. But get him out here. Oh, all right. Senor Billy, the kid does not look so at all. No. You know him, do you? Maybe so. Maybe no. If I do, I keep to myself. He's always been a very good friend of my people. Who owns the livery barn at the end of the street? Like everything else in this town, Senor Hardy owns it. He owns a lot of things, huh? What he doesn't own, he holds a mortgage on. He likes mortgages, too. <laughs> si, senor. Hey, Marshal, I want to see you. Well, I don't want to see you. Hey, Marshal, get away from me, boy. You're following me. I'm here to tell you they're having trouble at the Bar Z and they need help. What kind of trouble? Well, a gang's trying to scare them off the range. They're fighting In that case, I better go with you. You're staying right here. What have you got to say about it? I've said it. Just a trick to get you out of town. Ah, I knew it all the time. <laughs> yeah. You better stay with me so I can keep my eye on you. Hello. Hello, Ann. Have you seen Mr. Hardy? He's supposed to ride back to the ranch with me, but I haven't been able to locate him. Well, I saw him a little while ago in his office, but I think he's left by now. Oh. I suppose I'll have to ride back alone. That wouldn't be very safe. I'll ride along with you. Would you? Be glad to. You can show me part of the country. Bye. Remember, Fuzzy, try and be careful. And that goes for you, too. Marshal. He wouldn't come. But that fellow who bought the paper. What about him? He's out riding with Miss Ann. Which way? Toward the Hardy Range. Let's take him. We'll get the others later. It's time we got to work and quit playing around if we're going to stay in this smuggling business. telling me to be careful. And he goes gallivanting off with that, that 
a female. He doesn't trust her either. He told me so. Maybe he's trying to find out something from her. I'm going out after Billy. He may need some help. I'm going with him. No, you stay here and take care of things. Now, you fellas, get over behind that rock. And if I miss, don't let him get away. But be careful of the girl. Don't hurt her. waiting for us behind that rock. Maybe they're friends. Maybe. We'll soon find out. Here's what I want you to do. Stay here and watch this, Umbry. I'm going after the rest of them. and I'll get him to chase me. And when he passes, you let him have it. Looks like you sure got yourself into something. Yeah. What was all the shooting about, Jeff? A couple hombres tried to ambush you. So that's what happened to them. I started chasing three of them. Two of them disappeared, and the other one just went over the hill. Well, I wish I could have caught him. That's all right. I've got another one who tried to ambush me tied up back here. I left Ann to watch him. Hey, that Ann girl. I want to talk to you about her. We can talk about her later. I've got a lot of questions to ask this hombre. Come on. <laughs> What happened? He broke his bonds, knocked me down, and then got away. He knocked you down? Yes. I'm sorry, Ann. If I'd known you were going to be in any danger, I wouldn't have left you here. But that's all right. Please, let's go on to the ranch. All right.
That's Badger. How did you get away? Through no help of yours. We'd have got that fellow if his partner had stuck up behind us. All right, forget about that now. We're heading for town to take care of that marshal while his friends are busy. Won't you come in? We'd better not, Ann. We have to get back on the job. I'm sorry that our ride turned out so badly. I wouldn't have missed it for anything. <laughs> then we'll have to try it again. Can't be too soon for me. Goodbye. Goodbye. So, this Badger fellow broke his bonds, knocked the girl down, and got away. And after you tied him up. What do you think? I think the girl let him loose. I know she did. And I'm glad it happened. What do you mean? It proves what I've been suspecting. Hardy and Badger are in this together. Are you sure? I've been asking a lot of questions around town, Jeff, and I've had a few answers. Hardy owns a mortgage on every ranch and practically every business in town. Yeah, but there's nothing illegal in that. It's an old trick, Jeff. Badger and his gang keep these ranchers so poor they can't make their payments. And every businessman they don't like, they run out of town. I get it. Then Mr. Hardy forecloses, huh? Right. But I'd still like to find out what he wants with all this land. Can't be worth very much. Billy, I don't like the looks of this thing. We're just going to get ourselves into a lot of trouble. We ought to clear out right now. We can't do that, Jeff. These folks aren't getting a square deal. And we're going to do something for them before we pull stakes. Well, you're the boss. Upside and down. Even a Chinaman couldn't read it. Boy, see if the marshal's in the cafe. We'll check on his office. You know where the marshal is? No, senor. I haven't seen him today. You'd better stick around in case he shows up. I reckon he saw us coming and is hiding. Let's look over there. Marshal ain't in the cafe. We know where to find him. Tell the boys the barn to get healed. There's liable to be some trouble. Hey, you. 
Have you seen the marshal? No, sir, boss. I ain't seen him all day. <clears throat> and if you'll excuse me now, I think I better go pick up my papers. <clears throat> hey, just a minute, you. I'm going to talk to you. Jack. Look what I got. And did he give me a tough fight? Choked me till I was almost black in the face. But I got him. You're a better man than I am, Uncle Tom. They're all gone but one, and he'll never go anywhere. Let me out of here. You can't lock me up. That's what you think. Well, it ain't lawful. You've got no charge against me. There's plenty of charges against you, Badger. Hardy's told me all about you. Hardy? Yeah. I know that you've been rustling, burning ranch houses, and running all the decent people out of this town. Well, well, Hardy hired us to do it. We heard what you were talking about, and we ran on this too. So I've noticed. It was Mason, Burroughs, and I that sent for the new marshal. I know. I got that from the letter the marshal had on him. He was on his way here when he was ambushed. What? He was badly wounded, so we decided to come here and find Mason. Before we had a chance to talk to him, he was shot. Why didn't you tell us this before? We didn't trust anyone. Thought it was best to handle this our own way. Now you better talk, Badger, if you don't want to stretch a rope. Now listen, I'm not going to hang for things that Hardy's done. Then tell us why he hired you. Well, so people wouldn't find out what he was doing. You mean the smuggling? Yeah. Why, if he even thought people suspected of what he was doing, he gave orders to run him out of town. That makes sense. But what did he want with all their property? Sounds like he wanted to own the whole town. I want to know why. Well, so people wouldn't find out about the tunnel he's digging from here to the other side of the border to run his stuff through. So that's what's going on in the livery barn. Yeah. Mason suspected it, too. We knew nothing of this smuggling. All we knew was that lawlessness was ruining this town. Now you know why. Billy, look! Wait a minute, Jeff. Let him go. Why, he must have heard everything we said. Good. And if he goes where I think he will, we'll have a lot more prisoners. You stick to your story, Badger, and you'll get off a lot easier than Hardy will. Let's have a look at that tunnel, boys. Not you, Mammy. You stay here. <laughs> Mammy? Sit down. 
Man. easy. You see, I'm of the secret service of my own country. We know a smuggling comes from here, so they send me over to find out. I find some things, but not much until Senor Billy come over and, uh, what you say, blow things wide open. Did you find any men down there? Say, si, wounded ones. I have them tied up down in the tunnel. Not very big tunnel yet, but it would be soon. Good. Well, you stay here and keep your eye on them. Let's get back to the office. Muy bien. Lopez. Hey. It might be a good idea for you to forget Billy the Kid. Billy the Kid? Never heard of him. That's what I thought. I'm telling you, I heard every word. Badgers told him everything. About me? Yeah. To save his own neck. I suspected from the first that those new men were officers. But they're not. They can't be. Why? Because their leader is Billy the Kid. Are you sure? Positive. I've been trying to place him since that first day. I met up with him before, down by the Rio. Billy the Kid. That changes the situation a lot. Get the sheriff. You'll find him in Carson's today. Tell him that Billy the Kid is in paradise. The rest of you get set to ride. We'll settle Badger's case first. Then with the sheriff backing us up, Billy the Kid will be easy. Not as easy as you think. We'd better have our shooting irons in good order. We'll need them. Here comes the girl. shouldn't have come here. I had to. You've got to get out of here before... Before the rest of them get here, is that it? Yes. They'll kill him. They'd like to, but maybe they won't. Listen, Ann. Let's understand each other. Hardy's in back of everything that goes on around here, isn't he? Yes, he's been making them all do these things. He's crazed with the desire for power and money. I've known it all the time. Why haven't you said something? I've been afraid to because... Well, because he's threatened me. That's what I thought. Well, you don't have to be afraid any longer. And if you'll tell what you know when the time comes, you'll make it a lot easier for Badger. You can depend on me. All right. Let him out, Fuzzy. Let him out? Hurry up. We'll take you over Lopez. You'll be safe there. Thanks. Wait a minute. Not you. You stay here. Who, me? Sure. You were smart enough to catch Badger. Now you get the honor of taking Hardy and the rest of the gang. What does he mean, the rest of the gang? Badger's under arrest, Lopez. I want you to keep him here while we round up the rest of them. The rest of them? You mean perhaps Senor Hardy? That's right. We're going to put a stop to this crooked business. That's very good. Oh, I have some mail for you. For me? Well, at least for the editor of the paper. You are he, aren't you? Is this what you were looking for in the office? Yes. It's proof of what the editor claimed Mr. Hardy was doing. Affidavit from people he has cheated out of their property, who knew he was smuggling. That's all I need to cinch my case against Hardy. Keep this in a safe place, Lopez, and give it to the sheriff the first chance you get. Si, senor. Sheriff's on his way here now. He is? Why? Mr. Hardy sent for him to arrest you. Hey, 
exaggerating the jail. They took him to the hotel. Where's the sheriff? He left Carson's right after I did. He ought to be here any minute. Not until we settle with Badger first. Well, where is he? Well, who? What? 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 Why, Billy the Kid. Hardy told me he's in town. Oh, uh... Uh, maybe he's at the cafe. I better go have a look. Yeah, well, we'll both go and have a look. Oh, you better stay here. He's a desperate character. Yeah, well, if you're aiming to hog that reward, you're crazy. I'm sticking to you closer than a plaster. Badger, take it easy, gentlemen. Get the guns, Jeff. Mr. Hardy, I believe you and Badger have a lot of things to talk over. Stay here. I'll go around the back door and sneak up on them. All right. Keep your eye on them. Sure, I did all those things. Robbing, burning, rustling, and you paid me to do them all. I can prove it. You'd never live to prove it but for your criminal friends. played yet. You just think the game ain't played. You've run up against somebody smarter than you are, Hardy. You're through. What is it, Buddy? Yeah, the sheriff's here. He is? Yeah. Good. Good. Hey, he's after you. That doesn't mean he'll get me. Now listen carefully, Fuzzy. Here's what I want you to do. If I'm caught, you are too, Hardy. You're in this as deep as I am. Maybe deeper. After all, you're the boss of this smuggling outfit. And if you were under as a smart, you'll get out from under it the same as I did. The sheriff's here, Jeff. We have to get out of here. Hardy tried to shift the load off onto me. He'll do the same to you. But if we stick together, we'll do it to him. I'm with you on that. Me too. So am I. Good. Where you been? Where's that man we're after? He's right in there. See him? Oh, that ain't him. Oh, sure it is. Well, look at the description on this reward notice here. Well, maybe you're right. Of course I'm right. Come on, let's go in there and get him. Come on, come on. Well, I don't know. I'm not so sure. Oh, I'm positive. You read the description. That's Billy the Kid. Now, go on, get him. Go on, go on. Well, all right. You're both under arrest. Where is he gone? Who? Billy the Kid. Well, there he is. Who, me? You fool, you let him get away. He's tricked you, made me appear guilty. Why don't you do something? Senor Sheriff, this paper will prove who's guilty. Watch him, Lopez. Si, senor. I tell you, you're letting Billy the Kid escape. Calle, se quieto. Yeah, well, I'm not letting you two escape. Don't let him get away, Lopez. Here they are. I'm deputizing you two temporarily. Come on. You, Sheriff, they've gone. Yeah, and they made sure that nobody would follow them. You know, I'm beginning to wonder whether Billy the Kid was really here or not. Why are you quiet? You'll have your day in court. He was here, all right. And it's good for many people that Billy the Kid passed this way. Maybe you're right.
Go ahead. Say it. I told you so. <laughs> Whoever named that place sure had a quaint sense of humor. Yeah. Only one thing bothers me. You lose the money you paid for the newspaper. That's what you think. Hardy took a mortgage on it for twice what I paid for it. <laughs> <laughs>